Now, in the 70s, we received a radio signal that lasted more than a minute, and to this day, no one knows what it was or where it was coming from. But now, a new theory has appeared. Could the mystery finally be solved? In 1977, at 11.16 p.m., a telescope in Ohio caught something very unusual in space. It was a super short radio signal, just 72 seconds long. The signal was so strong and weird that the scientist who found it wrote WOW in red ink next to it. That's why it's called the WOW signal. Now in space, hydrogen gas sometimes releases radio waves, a type of electromagnetic radiation. They emit at a specific frequency, which is like a unique signature for hydrogen gas. This helps us to find, identify, and study it. Thanks to this, we noticed that the WOW signal frequency came from the same place as this gas. But it's not like it helps much, because we still have no idea what emitted it. What's even stranger, the signal happened only once. Even though we tried really hard to hear it again, we never did. And without a repeat signal, it was impossible to tell what it was. It's hard for us to even get its precise location, because the signal was short-lived. After a certain distance, it's very hard to tell where different radio signals are coming from. And that's where the theory started. This particular frequency that the WOW signal was on is special. It's not crowded with a lot of other signals. It's like finding a quiet spot in a noisy room. Because there's not much interference or noise. So if you send a signal on this frequency really far, it won't get lost or distorted. And that's curious. Because it means that there might be a perfect place to send messages if we want to communicate with any extraterrestrial creatures out there. So could it be that they're trying to contact us? Well, it's a real scientific possibility. No one knows for sure what caused the WOW signal. But if it was from something extraterrestrial, they definitely communicate not like we do. The signal looked nothing like a deliberate message. And that's weird that it happened only once. If it was little green people trying to contact us, it would be weird for them to only try once. But just in case, in 2012, on the 35th anniversary of the WOW signal, we decided to send out a bunch of messages toward certain stars. We used a special code to make sure any extraterrestrial creatures who got the messages would know they were from intelligent beings like us. Well, mostly intelligent. We even used a lot of power to make sure the messages could travel really far. Scientists have come up with lots of ideas about where the WOW signal might have come from, but none of them are widely agreed upon. We know for sure that it didn't come from anything on Earth. Earth noise can interfere sometimes, but this signal definitely came from outer space. There was also a theory that the signal might have bounced off some space junk and come back to Earth. But later, we realized that the requirements for that to happen were very unlikely. One potential idea is that the signal might have been caused by twinkling in space, like how stars twinkle in the sky. But even if that's true, it doesn't rule out the possibility that the signal was made by something artificial. Another idea is that it could have come from something spinning, like a lighthouse. Or maybe it was a signal that changed its frequency over time or it was just a one-time burst. It's been 50 years since a strange radio signal was caught. But recently, a new idea about its origin sparked up. Now, imagine a comet streaking through space, leaving a trail of gas behind it like a tail. This gas could be key to understanding the mysterious radio signal that caught astronomers' attention all those years ago. One of the astronomers looked at the WOW signal and thought it might be connected to a comet called 266P Christensen. Yeah, that's a mouthful. This comet is about 1,800 light years away. It wasn't known back in 1997 when the signal was first detected. But now, it could explain the strange radio waves. Comets can emit radio waves as they get closer to the sun. It's like the gases around them start buzzing with energy. This buzzing might be what the WOW signal was all about. To test this theory, we used a radio telescope to listen for radio waves from other comets. We found that some comets did indeed emit radio waves at the same frequency as the WOW signal. 
Then, we pointed the telescopes at this particular comet as it passed through the same part of the sky where the WOW signal was detected. The comet's radio waves could match up with the signal. And while the comet wasn't exactly in the same spot as the signal, it was close enough to feel like we were on to something here. It also might have been caused by hydrogen clouds from two comets, the ones we mentioned and another one called P-2008Y2. Who picks these names? But not everyone is convinced by that idea. Some say that the theory about two comets causing the signal doesn't add up because comets don't usually emit radio waves in the way needed to explain the WOW signal. Also, the signal didn't repeat itself and only happened once, which is weird if it's really a comet. They spread out their gases over a large area, so the signal would have lingered longer. The telescope used to detect the signal should have picked it up twice in a short time span, but it didn't happen that way. Also, the comet wouldn't have moved out of the telescope's view so quickly. This shows that we need to learn more about how and why comets emit these radio waves, especially at the same frequency as the WOW signal. There were also a lot of mysterious and interesting signals in space. Most of them come from natural events, like something called fast radio bursts. These bursts of energy are incredibly powerful and occur all over the sky, but their origins are still unclear. They last for only a fraction of a second. Maybe the telescope caught just a part of one of these bursts. There's also a strange signal we've been receiving since 2018. This one actually repeats every 22 minutes, but despite our efforts, we can't figure out where it's coming from. It started way back in 1988, and we've been investigating this mystery for 36 years now. At least here we know the distance of the mysterious object sending the signals, a distant 15,000 light years away. Some speculate that these signals could be from extraterrestrial beings trying to communicate with us. However, we can't say for sure without solid evidence, so it remains speculative. Another explanation is a pulsar theory. Now, pulsars are neutron stars that emit beams of energy, similar to what we've been observing with the signals. However, the behavior of the signals doesn't perfectly align with what we know about pulsars. There's also the magnetar theory, suggesting that these signals could be coming from supercharged neutron stars called magnetars. Yet none of these theories fully explain the strange behavior of the signals. Maybe there's a new, undiscovered phenomenon in the universe. So even though comets are a possibility, there are still a lot of unanswered questions about the WOW signal. We don't know what caused it, and we may never know. We don't even know if it came from deep space or from somewhere inside the solar system. In any case, even if the WOW signal had a natural cause, it doesn't mean that extraterrestrial life doesn't exist. The study that talked about this also discussed a sun-like star that could be a great place to look for signs of technology from space. There are 14 more stars similar to our sun in space, although we're not totally sure about their brightness. This opens up exciting possibilities for hunting down signs of advanced civilizations beyond Earth. Ooh. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.